Hello everyone, this is Joel Davis with the United Medical Transportation Providers Group and you are the broker.com helping you to build a highly effective and highly profitable broker business. I want to talk to you about something. I'm going to pick on the NEMT industry because the motivation for this video came through a great email we received uh, from, from, some, from someone that's new to us. We just started doing one-on-one -on -one work with them. Great email. Um, really appreciate what they're doing um, and I appreciate the email. But I want you to think about a few things. First and foremost, in your medical transportation business, think about all the different people in which you have direct relationships with. You'll have relationships with hospitals, nursing homes, rehab facilities, um, skilled care facilities, assisted and independent living facilities, senior centers. You're going to have relationships directly with the customer themselves, people living at home or maybe living with a son or daughter. Uh, or a small um, residential care facility. You're going to have relationships with those. So think about all the different relationships I just mentioned. Some of them are B2B, business to business, and others are B2C, business to customer. And think about the different types of customers that you have. You have everything from your private pay, uh, people who have private long-term care insurance, people who are on uh, Medicare, other people who are on Medicaid, um, People who are, uh, let's say they're going for transportation through and they're going to be reimbursed by workers' comp or no-fault insurance. Let's talk about the relationships you're going to have with the different types of facilities that you may get uh, contracts or service agreements with. All of those different assisted, independent, skilled, rehab, general nursing facilities, I mean, they all have different levels of care, different sizes, different dimensions. So they're all different. So with that being said, think about all the different relationships you have. The reason why I was successful in my business, some people will say, well, you got a really big contract. Oh, I did get a big contract. Then I had a bunch of other contracts and service agreements as well. But guess what? That stuff doesn't happen by chance. Cultivating those relationships doesn't happen by chance. You don't just wake up one morning and it falls in your lap. The thing that's allowed me to be successful and other people that I've worked with to be, become successful is the way you engage all of these different facilities and customers is different. The, the customer and the business engagement is always different. That's one thing I've always understood. My approach has always been different. And here's the problem. So many people go into this industry, they go into any business really, but specifically in picking on the NEMT industry, so many people go into NEMT or home care with just a one track mindset. They think they're going to engage every customer the same. They think they're going to market and solicit every customer the same, in which case you do not. There are so many different temperaments that you need to have. There's so many different strategies you need to have. There's so many different forms of media. There's so many different forms of media that you need to leverage. Now, when I say media, I'm not talking about going out there and taking uh, radio spots and TV spots and general newspaper spots. All that stuff is antiquated. All that stuff, trust me, when I launched, when I first launched my NAMT business, this is before I had my contracts. I mean, I wasted thousands upon thousands of dollars because once I formed my business, um, however I got on whoever's news list, whether it was through the Chamber of Commerce or whatever, all of a sudden you get inundated and solicited by everybody to partner with them and advertise here, advertise there, and you spend all these dollars, you think you're going to get all this business, and it's all antiquated. It's all outdated. Uh, and ultimately, you're not hitting your target market. You are. Not, I'll say it again. You're not hitting your target market. You're spending all these dollars for just a general blast, which is like a shotgun blast, scattered going every which direction and that's not what you want so it's very important that you take away that the, your customer engagement regardless of whatever business you're in but again i was picking on the nemt industry because of that email i received your customer engagement and your interaction uh, to build strong relationships within your community is going to be different for different types of people different types of facilities different types of staff I can tell you I met uh, Joel Davis, as most people, uh, online, and uh, been in business most of my life, and it's very hard to trust anybody out there because they always want to separate you from, from the money. But I will tell you, uh, not getting paid for this testimony, uh, Joel Davis is the, the real deal. Um, used to own a franchise. We were paying roughly five to $6,000 more a month, and I've learned more for 
pennies on the dollar. Uh, going to Joel Davis's, I uh, or just been with him, and uh, with the broker's uh, business coming up, um, he's just been a lifesaver for us. So uh, there's an old saying that uh, a wise man learns from his mistakes, but a wiser man learns from other people's mistakes. Joel's been around the block, he knows his stuff, he knows business, and he's not out there to take your money. Trust me, I'll give you my phone number. You call Joel, you can call me. I get nothing for this, maybe a beer. Uh, but I'm telling you, if you want to know business and you want to make money, Joel's your guy. Hi, my name is Spencer McDonald. I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah. My company is Mobility Transportation Services, and I'm really excited to be here at this seminar. I met Joel back in 2010 uh, at an uh, EMT seminar, and I just can't tell you how much this this man has taught me about business, and I, I, owe, it, I owe so much to him for the... Uh, ability to be successful in my business and we've we've grown a business for eight years and it's doing really well and I'm I'm so excited about this broker business that he has introduced I had no questions in my mind when he introduced it that I would do this I have 100 percent confidence in Joel and his knowledge and of the industry and where things are going and for that I want to thank him